Hey everybody, it's Lisa from the scrapandmommy.blogspot.com and minialbumscraps.ning.com. I am still sick, so if you guys have a hard time hearing me, I'm really sorry. Um, I want to share with you a coin envelope mini that I made, and this is for one of the swaps on the site on Mini Album Scraps. My partner was Carolyn. Her son is uh, majoring in classical music in college, so that is the theme that I went for with for this mini. And I used the die cuts with the view um, performance mini stack, the mat stack, and um, I think it came out pretty good. I also did a stream on how to make the pages in this mini. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. On the front cover here, I used the uh, punch. I think it's a Fisker's punch, but it's one of the bigger ones that do the musical notes. I put some black bling, the rhinestone, the black trimmed rhinestone on there. These are some petaloo flowers, and then these ones are from I Am Roses. I tucked some gold leaves in there. I used one of the... Um, musical note paper clips. Alright. And I've bound quite a few of my minis like this, so <laughs> the funny part is I bound my mini like this, and after I've had this done for so long, and I just saw that Kathy um, has a tutorial on how to do, whoops, out of focus, how to do something like this. So, anyhow, um, I used a a hitch fastener for my a hitch fastener and a, and a hair tie for my closure. Let me go ahead and get started. Basically, all the page construction are all the same. I've trimmed all my tags with the musical note safety pins, and a lot of them I've stamped and embossed. So, all right, they all have two little mats each page. They slide in here. So there's a pocket there. The page opens. And there's two full pages like there. And another flip up. Now since these fold flat, these are for pictures, so I didn't put the any in big embellishments there. Because it won't it wouldn't close then. Alright, the next page these are some petaloo flowers. If you can see the musical note that's gold embossed, we have a set on the site of the musical notes that you can get. So here's where the tag comes out. So the petaloo flowers, then this is a punch flower that I just made. And then this is the same page construction. So I have a punch flower, the two mats, that go in the pocket and then the flip open and the flip up. So lots of room in this coin envelope mini to tuck pictures for sure. And I am Rose's twisted um, rose with some cherry blossoms. This I cut out of a Sizzix die. Another my tag is embossed again and I have trimmed it with the musical note um, paper clip and then on this side now this one you can see this is one of the larger notes out of that chipboard set another I am Rose's flower my two little mats there um, this one I used the spellbinders die and then this one I just cut and I used the Fisker's corner punch I thought they matched pretty well, so. Alright, and then again, this one flips open and up. And then on this one here, I've done two punched flowers and then a cherry blossom for my roses and then a beige and crystal swirl. My tag, again just embossed. Now the tags I chose to leave black and just put embossing on you know on one side of them so that she could either put more pictures, journal in a gold or a white pen, whatever whatever she wanted to do. 
a little bit of glue string there. Alright, on this side, I used another chipboard piece that I embossed. I made a little rolled rose from the My Favorite Things die. And I used, um, I think this might be a Cricut cut and then a ticket punch that I put on top of there. Same thing with the mats. This mini is a little different than I normally do. Um, normally my minis every page is, is a different construction. And so, and there's not usually this much room <laughs> for pictures. So there's a ton of room for pictures in this one. I really like this page. So another one of the musical notes. These are more petal leaf flowers and I am rose of skeleton leaves. I cut this out of the paper and inked it up and stuck it in there. This tag I just used the background musical note stamp and clear embossed it. And then on this page more petal leaf flowers, skeleton leaves, those gold leaves tucked in there again. The mats and the flip up. Now this paper wasn't from the collection. This is, uh, you know, you buy it by the piece at Joann's or Michael's. But I needed another, another sort of background page. Let me see there. I love those flowers, those velveteen flowers. This is another, um, another tag that I just embossed. And I used co copper and gold embossing powder throughout the whole thing. And then the back page, again, nice and plain, so she can put a lot of um, pictures in here. It's Since it's for, since even though it's a musical note theme and it's for a guy, I tried to keep the frou-frou to a minimum, you know, and, and keep down on the flowers and all that big stuff and leave lots of room for pictures, which is unusual for me because I usually have a ton of stuff glued all over my minis. <laughs> so, I really hope that she likes it. Sorry I'm shaking all over the place, guys. And like I said, the page construction, each one of these, the pocket, this pocket here, this whole construction, this whole one page, is made out of one sheet of paper. And the piece that you cut off is what I bound it with, the hinges. So you use an entire sheet of paper for each page. It's not pieced together, it's glued um, from one sheet. You fold it, glue it, that makes the coin envelope, that makes the flip up, everything. all The whole page construction. So if you're interested in seeing that, it's on our Ustream channel. It's one of the um, saved previous shows. I may do a YouTube on it. Also, I haven't decided. If I have time, I will. I'm so behind right now, so we'll see. But this, I hope Carolyn likes it. This is my Music Note Mini, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.